Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is yet another Photoshop Elements 6 video tutorial. First, I'd like to thank you for uh, subscribing to the YouTube videos, those of you who have subscribed. And thank you for the kind comments um, and the small bit of uh, feedback I've been receiving. It's, it's really great and it's been a positive influence on these videos. In this video segment, I thought I would show you another way to adjust some lighting. Just to kind of follow up from the last one, we did some spotlighting on an individual subject. But let's say we have a picture that we snapped. We get it into our Photoshop Elements and we begin looking at it and we see some dark areas that we'd like to lighten up. The lighting effects and spotlighting that area is not going to help because we're going to darken the rest of the picture. So what we want to do this time is I'm going to show you how to adjust that lighting and actually increase it so you can actually start to enjoy the picture a little bit and maybe save a really nice shot um, from being too dark. We're going to some landscape shots that I have and I've been pulling some of this stuff out of my archives so it's kind of fun to be working on these pictures uh, once again. It gives me a new perspective of them. And we're going to go here to some uh, winter park pictures that I've taken uh, I guess it was a while ago, 2004. So it was, it was quite a while ago, quite a bit, uh, quite uh, a few cameras ago I could say. And what I'm looking for here is a shot that I noticed earlier. And we're going to go right here. You can see here on this shot, let's open this up in the editor. Go right click, full edit. Alright, now the first thing we want to do, remember, is go to view, fit the screen. And then always just go down here and just remember to duplicate the background layer just so we're working on a different layer. Now, we see here that the back is really, really uh, nicely lit. And this is lit just, you know, basically from the sunlight. But for some reason when I shot this, there was a lot of shadows. I don't know if I was under a tree or not, but this shadow here is not really that uh, rewarding or pleasing to the picture. So we're going to go ahead and adjust it so we can bring out some light in this area while not affecting this background area. And we do that simply by going over, and if you can see the little uh, white and black icon here, just click the pull down menu beside it. And let's go into Levels. And with this Levels open, we can adjust the lighting up a little bit, but be careful, you don't want to get it too bright or too... Uh, basically over hot. You could do this and just adjust it up, but what's going to happen is you're also adjusting not only this, but we're adjusting all this. And we want to get this bright and kind of leave this left alone. So we'll just pull it over a little bit and click OK. Now at that point we have a new layer here. This is basically just an adjustment layer. So what we're going to do with this layer is right on this where it says layer mask thumbnail. We're going to do a control I to fill that with black. Or if you're on a uh, Macintosh, it's Command I. There you go. Now we filled it with black. And you see it darkened the picture back down a little bit. Now what we want to do is we want to bring this area up. We want to adjust this. Now the easiest way to do this is go down here and get your brush tool. Click on brush. Get a decent sized brush here to work with. We can even raise this up a little bit more. I don't want to go to 300. All right. And all we have to do is just start clicking our left clicking our mouse and just painting over this area to bring out the light. So we'll just start right about here and we're just going to bring up the light. I'll just bring it right up. You can go as far over as you want. Maybe be better off just to get over that little bush. And this is all done by eye. I mean, you'll get pretty good at this after a while. Just kind of blend it in there. And as you can see now, it's not quite as dark as it was before. We lightened it up. We got some light in there. It looks almost like it's reflective light now instead of just that dark. And if you want to, if you want to bring it up more, you can always double click this. See here, just the, the layer thumbnail, double click that. We can get right back in there, so we can always adjust the lighting up a little bit more. If you want to get just a little bit more light at that point, and then click OK. 
still not really affecting the rest of the picture all that much. The next thing I wanted to show you with this video, I didn't want to make a separate video because it's pretty it's a pretty quick thing to do. What we're going to look at is putting our signature on a picture. You know, people when they take pictures or when they, you uh, go to a uh, you go to any kind of um, venue where they're showing pictures off or a gallery, everybody's signatures on their pictures. So wouldn't it be nice to have your own signature on your pictures? Let's go down here, click on the text tool. And what we're going to end up doing here, when we apply a text to this, we're going to apply it right over here. And we're going to get that pop up. And you see here we got another new layer. And this layer here, oops, let's do it again. I guess before we touch the layer, we're going to have to actually work in here to get this up. Let's go to 30 and put your name in here. doesn't look big enough just highlight it and go back up to your font tool make it a little bigger make it a little bigger than that all right and the font that I'm using for this is the it's called the Bic Ham Script Pro is the font I'm going to use usually when you first start typing in this it's times uh, times Roman and, and you know it looks kind of crappy this looks more of a signature here all right so we're going to go there, then we click on our move tool since it's on the layer. We can move and adjust it to where we want it to be. Now we have a nice signature on our picture. And can we make that a little bit more interesting? Absolutely. The way we do that is if you come up here into your effects area, we are actually going to look for bevels. Now, bevel, what a bevel is going to do is actually take this text, we're going to highlight it, and we're going to change that text just by simply clicking on one of these bevels and picking out something that we want to use. Let's just say this one, see what it looks like. Click Apply. And now you can see there we have it beveled. It's like it's raised off the page. And what's really interesting when you're working with text and you're working with these effects, you'll get this little effects down here and that indicates that you have an effect on that layer. If you want to play with the effect a little bit, just double click this. And now we can do different things to our actual text. If you see the way the light is or the way the angle is going back, this is what this indicator is for right here. Let's bring it back this way. We can actually reverse it. See, now it's going to the right. Let's leave it back to the left. You can add drop shadows or glows. You can raise your bevel up. Let's raise the bevel up. As you can see, it got bigger. Raise it back down, make it look more natural. Glows, if you want to put a glow on it, maybe an outer glow. You can change the color of the glow. Let's make it a softer blue here. That's kind of a purple. Let's go with a uh, more of a blue. You can see how we can put a little glow behind it. And then you can also throw some stroke into it. Look at that. It actually looks like a whole different type of signature. And, you, like I said, just play with this stuff. You can even lower the um, opacity of it. You can drop it down a little bit, make it look a little bit more uh, blended. And then click OK. Alright, that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on how to adjust some lighting and how to throw your signature on your picture. I'll see you back here soon. Keep uh, If you haven't subscribed to the show, please subscribe on, on YouTube. And if you have any questions, uh, drop me a comment or email on YouTube and I will respond to you. Until next time, take care, keep photoshopping, and keep those cameras clicking. See you next time. So long for now.